All right, good. Okay, so let's just come into a comfortable position, first of all. It might be a seated position. You might like to sit on your block or have your legs crossed or legs out in front, whatever's comfortable for you. Taking some breaths. Just coming into your space after the busyness of your morning. Softening your eyes. Checking in to your body. Noticing how you're feeling. If you have any parts that are tight, exhale into that area, notice it and just exhale in there to release it. Noticing any busyness in your mind, acknowledge the thoughts and let them go. So today we're going to have our seventh chakra, which is the crown chakra. So it sits sort of just above your head. You might even want to place your hand, one hand on your head and just feel where that is, just touching that area. So we've started off with um, from, from the root chakra and we've worked our way up week by week. Last week it was a third eye and this week it's the crown chakra. <clears throat> so the crown chakra is represented by a lotus leaf, which is 20 layers of um, petals, there's, there's a thousand petals and each, each layer has 50 petals, so 20 layers of that, so that represents the symbol. And it also represents things like wisdom and enlightenment. The colour for the crown chakra is violet and the asana that we do to try to acknowledge and to balance out the crown chakra is things where we have our head down. So it can be things like a supported shoulder stand, which we're not going to do today, or we, we can do a short supported shoulder stand. Um, things like headstands, we're not going to do those. Plow pose where you're laying down, you have your feet over your head. We sometimes do that. Um, any forward bending positions. Um, even when we're doing the savasana, where we have our head laying down, it's, um, it's a good pose for balancing out through the crown chakra. The gems that represent the crown chakra are amethyst and diamond. And the glands that um, are connected in with it is the upper brain in, in the cerebrum, so in, in the brain area, which makes sense because it's part of the head. So this is the chakra that kind of brings together all of the other ones. So this is like the crowning, crown glory, I guess, of all of them. So we're going to start off today with a meditation. So having yourself in a nice, comfortable position, softening your eyes. So we're going to start on... This, Notice your breathing and noticing your, your feet and your buttocks on the floor with the earth supporting you and a nice tall spine. You can have your hands on your knees or you can have them cupped in front of you, whatever's more comfortable. Let's concentrate on inhaling. So as, as we inhale, as the inhale enters the body, from the base of the spine, expanding up through the pelvis. And as we exhale, we're going to release any tension that may be held in the perineum, the hip flexors and the glutes. So let's continue on with a couple of breaths there. So inhaling, 
up through the base of the spine, expanding the awareness of the pelvis. And as we exhale, releasing any tension that may be held in the perineum, the hip flexor or the glutes. On the next inhale, we're gonna inhale through the base of the spine, up into the belly. And as we exhale, release any tension from the belly and the lower back. Let's do a couple of breaths there. And then next inhale, inhale through the base of the spine, up into the heart area. As you exhale, release any tension around your chest, shoulders and upper back. So inhaling through the base of the spine, up into the heart area. Exhale and release any tension around your chest, shoulders and upper back. Next inhale from the base of the spine up to the throat and exhale and release any tension around your neck and jaw and your tongue. And again in that area. So up through the base of the spine to the throat, releasing any tension around your neck, jaw and tongue. Inhale through the base of your spine, up to your head behind your eyebrows. Exhale and release any tension from your forehead and your scalp. So inhale from the base of your spine, up to your head, behind your eyebrows, exhale, and release any tension from your forehead and your scalp. Next inhalation from the base of your spine, all the way up to the crown of your head, slightly higher than that, and exhale all the way down to the base of your spine. Let's do another one there, inhaling from the base of your spine, all the way up to the crown of your head, and a little higher and exhale all the way down to the base of your spine. As you continue to breathe up and down the entire length of your spine, visualize a beautiful light suspended above you. Taking your next breath in, breathing up the entire length of your spine, noticing above your crown chakra, a beautiful violet light and a beautiful lotus. The lotus is suspended above you and you're covered in a beautiful violet light. Just taking some nice quiet breaths here. Just basking in that beautiful violet light, knowing there's a gorgeous lotus just suspended above your head. As you inhale, breathing all of the breath up through your spine, all the way up through the crown of your head up to where the lotus is, and then all the way out, releasing any tension that you're holding within your body. As you inhale and exhale, taking your attention up towards the lotus, all of its petals are opening down above you.
gradually opening the crown chakra. Concentrating on the lotus as the merging of your inhalation and your exhalation. As you inhale, inhale as if the lotus were drawing life force from the earth, breathing it up your spine. And as you exhale, sending the color violet as it rains down over your whole body. A nice rhythmic flow. Just gradually opening up that crown chakra, covering your body in the beautiful violet glow with the lotus suspended above your crown chakra. Let's take six more breaths here. As we come into our last couple of breaths, we're gonna start our practice today with Om. We're gonna do three Oms today, one for Shiva, one for Skati, and one for the union of both. Shiva is male energy and Skati is female energy. It's taking a deep breath in. Thank you for being here today to have a beautiful yoga practice and opening up through our crown chakra. We're going to go into a tabletop position to begin. Opening up your hands nice and wide and having your knees underneath your hips. Let's do some gentle circles. And then taking your body back in the other direction, just loosening up any tension you might have in the hip area or the shoulder area. And then we'll begin with some cat and cows. As we inhale, lifting up through the chest, lifting our gaze into cat. And exhale, bringing your spine up towards the ceiling, taking your gaze point through your knees towards your feet. Inhale, lifting up through the chest, loosening through the shoulders. And exhaling, drawing our spine up towards the ceiling, stretching through the neck. Continuing on for a few more breaths. As you bring your spine up on the exhalation, taking the crown chakra down, pointing it down towards the mat. And as you inhale, taking the crown chakra, pointing up towards the ceiling. From here, we're going to do some shoulder opening. So we're going to move our right hand a little bit towards the middle of the mat. We're going to inhale and lift our left hand up and take our gaze up with our hand towards the ceiling and exhale, threading it under the right arm. 
and hovering. Inhale, take it up, opening up through the chest, nice twist through the upper back. And exhale, threading it under. Inhale, come all the way up. And this time we're going to take our shoulder and our ear down towards the mat and take the right hand forward. A nice stretch through the scapula on the left side. Just take three nice, long, deep breaths here. Feel that stretch through the scapula, opening up deep tissue on the left side. And one more breath. And bring the left hand back up onto the mat and slide your right hand back. Bring the right hand slightly towards the center as we inhale. Sorry, bring the left hand to the center. As we inhale, take the right hand up and exhale, bring it down underneath the left, hovering it. Inhale all the way up. And exhale, bring it down and underneath and hover. And one more, all the way up. And exhale, bring your shoulder and your ear down to the mat and take the left hand forward for three breaths. Stretching through the scapula on the right side. And then coming back up to tabletop, coming into a comfortable seated position. So you may be sitting on your knees or you can come up into a standing on your knees or sitting on your buttocks, whatever is more comfortable for you. As we do a little bit more through the shoulder area, just rolling our shoulders back and forward. And then take some big arms. Make sure you've got enough room around you. That's it, nice. And back the other way. Good. And then bring our fingertips to our shoulders. And we're gonna roll our elbows around in a big circle, as big as you can, taking some nice deep breaths. And then back the other way. And then from here, we're going to come into a extended puppy pose. So we're going to start off in the tabletop position and we're going to keep our bottom up high as we walk our hands forward. Bringing our forehead down towards the mat, keeping our elbows up and stretching out through the shoulder blades. Bring the shoulders back and down. So we have our third eye on the ground. Gradually walking your hands a little more forward. And we're gonna take six breaths here. And one more breath here. And then bring our body forward, walking our hands back, back into tabletop. Tucking our toes under and bring our hips up into downward dog. And walking our heels down towards the mat, stretching out through the back of our legs. Nice stretch through the shoulders as well. And then bringing your body down. You can bring your knees down or keep them up into an upward dog. And then exhale back into downward dog. We're gonna do six rounds here, getting some nice movement into our legs and into our chest.
Feel free at any point to take a rest. Let's go one more round. And then taking your feet wide and walking your hands up towards your feet into a forward bend. So your crown chakra is facing down towards the mat. And we're going to allow ourselves to fall heavy here, taking six deep breaths. Noticing your crown chakra is pointing down towards the earth. Take two more breaths here. And then inhale as you come up and bring your hands to Anjali Mudra and toe heel walk your feet in. Give your legs a nice shake. We're gonna do a sun salute now. It's a little bit different to what we've done before. We're going to throw a bow pose into it. So um, you can come with me or you can watch the first round if you like. But um, we're going to go towards the front of the mat. We're going to inhale, lift our arms up and look up. Exhale, we're going to fold forward. And then we're going to step back into our high plank. And then bending our arms, slowly lowering our body down to the mat. As we lift up through our chest, we're going to bend our knees, reaching back to our feet. Inhale, lift up. And then exhale, allow your body to release. And then coming up into child's pose. Inhale, taking it forward to an upward dog. And exhale, tucking your toes under, coming up to downward dog. And then eyes up, taking your feet forward, stepping forward to your hands into a forward bend. Going to inhale, lift our chest, stretching through our back. Exhale. Draw our chest to our legs and inhale, come all the way back up. It's a slight change on what we normally do. And we'll go for two more rounds. So inhale, lift and lengthen our arms, stretching up towards the ceiling, exhaling, folding forward, and then step back into high plank. Slowly lower the body down to the mat. Lift the chest, bend your knees, reach back to your feet. Inhale, lift up into boat pose. And exhale, let it release. Back into child's pose. Coming forward into upward dog. And then exhale into downward dog. Take your feet forward into forward bend. Inhale, lift your chest, lengthen your spine. Exhale, draw your chest to your legs. And inhale, come all the way back up. Ah, good work. Okay, let's go one more round. Or if you need to take a rest, you can have a rest. So inhale, lift and lengthen. Exhaling, folding forward. And then stepping back into high plank. Slowly lowering the body to the mat. Bending the knees, 
reaching back to your feet. Inhale, lift up and then release back into child's pose. Upward dog. Toes under for downward dog. And then take your eyes forward, a step forward into forward bend. Inhale, lift your chest, lengthen your spine and the back of your legs. Exhale, draw your chest to your legs. And inhale, come all the way back up. Nice. So some nice movements there, lots of opening through the chest and the upper back, lots of back bend type work. We're working up to our peak pose, which is the next one. We've done this one before. This is called a dancer pose. So if you have something there that you can reach out and steady yourself, that's perfectly fine. We're going to start with our right foot. So opening up through the foot and we're going to bend our left knee, catching the left foot. And we're going to take our body forward and our right hand out in front of us. Lifting the chest, lifting through the foot. Let's take three breaths here. Opening up through the chest, nice and steady, gazing forward. One more breath here and then release. Good work. Okay, now coming to the other side. Okay, so we're going to open up through the left foot, bring the right, bend the right knee and bring the hand, right hand to your right foot. Find yourself a drishti point. And then we're going to take our chest forward, bring our leg up and left hand out in front. Taking three nice deep breaths here. Good, and then steady yourself. Really squeeze, lifting up and come back. Whew. Good work, ladies. It's a bit challenging, that one. From here, as a counter pose, we're going to go into a forward bend. So we're going to inhale, lift up, and exhale, folding forward. And bring your hands down towards the mat or your ankles. Just taking a few breaths here. Connecting with a nice stretch through the back of your legs and through your lower back. Let your head fall heavy and your chest fall heavy. So the dancer pose has quite a quite a back bend to it. So this is a forward bend to um, release any tension. And then inhale, come back up. Okay, the next one we're going to do is a yogi squat to open up through the hip area. So you can take your feet out a little wider. Now, if you have something that you can put under your heels, um, a block might be a little bit too big, but maybe if you have a, a cushion or something, you can put under your heels. And then as you squat down, bring your knees out to the side. So. That's it. Great. Excellent work. So go down to where's comfortable for you. And we're going to take 10 breaths here. So really opening up through the hips, using your elbows to push your knees out a little. So coming back to that vision with the Beautiful violet light all around your body and the lotus flower with the thousand petals just above your crown chakra. As you're inhaling, you're inhaling the energies of the earth up through your spine and coming out over the top of your crown chakra and cascading all around you. Taking two more breaths here. And then bring your hands down towards the mat and just putting some weight on your hands and pointing your crown chakra down 
towards the mat. Balancing a little bit on your elbows and your knees. Just taking a few breaths here. And then coming back onto your heels. And back up into standing position. Give your legs a little shake out. And we're going to come down to the mat now, down onto our backs. We're going to start off with reclining pigeon. So we're laying down on our backs with our right knee bent and our right foot on the ground. Bring the left shin across and we're going to hug that in towards your body. So you might draw your shin towards the left shin towards your body or you might reach through the gap between your legs and hold on to the right thigh or the right shin. And we're going to take six breaths here with a deep stretch through that left side through the glute and the ITB area. Two more breaths. And then release your hands and let your right foot go down to the mat. Keep the left leg where it is. Take your left hand out straight out from your shoulders and take your right hand onto your left knee and draw that across as you gaze towards your left hand. So you're coming into a deep twist. We're going to take six breaths here and connecting with a deep stretch through the left side of your body. Bring your shoulders down to the ground so you get a stretch through the front of your chest, twisting through the lower spine. On each exhalation, gently allowing your body to surrender into the twist a little more. Two more breaths. And then inhaling, release your knee and bring both knees back to center and swap them over. So swap, take your left foot to the ground, left knee bent, take the right leg across the front and reach forward, bringing that right shin towards your body. And you can reach through the gap in your legs and draw your left thigh or your left shin towards your body. You might find you are a little stiffer on one side than the other, whatever's comfortable for you. And then relax into this deep stretch for six breaths. So connecting deeply through the stretch for the right glute and the right ITB. This helps to release any tension that you might be feeling in your lower back. Three more breaths here. Release any tension you might have in your shoulders. And then release your hands, allow your left foot to return to the mat. Take your left hand onto your right knee and your right hand out to the side and draw that right knee to the left side of your body as you take your gaze to the right, bringing that left foot down towards the mat and allow your body to twist, keeping your shoulders on the mat so you get a nice stretch through the front of your chest. Taking six deep breaths here. On each exhalation, allow your body to surrender into the twist a little more. And notice that right down the right side of your body, 
through the waist, the hips, the glutes, the ITP. Three more breaths. On the next inhalation, release the knee and bring both knees back to center. Bring both feet to the ground. And then have you align your body so your body's nice and straight and then hug both knees to your chest. You might want to rock around in circles or backwards and forwards, releasing any tension that you might have, flushing out that twist that we've just done. And if you're going in a circle, take your body the other direction. And then bringing your feet to the mat. And we're going to go into a bridge pose. So slide your heels a little closer to your buttocks. Hands are face down on the mat. As you inhale, lift up through the hips as high as you can, really squeeze through the buttocks, bringing your hands underneath your buttocks in a clasp position and walk your shoulders a little together. Lifting up high as you can, bringing your chest up to your chin. And we're going to take six breaths here. Feeling that deep connection to the earth through the bottoms of your feet and your shoulders and the back of your head. A deep squeeze through the glutes and clasping your hands to stretch through the shoulders and a stretch through the back of the neck. Taking three more breaths here, lift up a little higher. And then release your hands and slowly lower your spine down towards the mat. And then hug your knees up to your chest again into Apanasana. A nice counter pose for that back bend. And from here, we're going to go into a legs up position. So you might like to have a support underneath your lower back and have your legs straight up. You might like to have your legs up the wall or into a half half shoulder stand, whatever works for you, coming into your inversion. So inhale as you take your feet up. If you're going into a shoulder stand, holding your hips in your hands like a bowl of fruit and walking your elbows a little bit together. So legs up in the air, nice and light, give them a little shake. Give your ankles some little circles. If you're in the shoulder stand, you might like to take your feet over your head into plow pose. If you have the legs up the wall, you might like to take your feet wide. might like to bend your knees out to the sides and bring the soles of your feet together into a butterfly. Coming back to the crown chakra again. Envisioning that beautiful purple light through your body. The crown chakra having a lotus, beautiful lotus with its thousand petals hovering just above your head. Let's take five more breath, breaths here. And on your next inhalation, Gently lowering your body back down to the mat. 
coming into a comfortable position for Savasana. So you might like to put a bolster or a support under your knees. You can have your legs bent if you like to support your lower back or your legs down flat, palms facing up. You might like to put a blanket over yourself or an eye pillow. It's getting nice and comfortable in that position. We're going to stay here in a just a nice restful savasana, enjoying the energy and the fire that you've built up during your asana practice. Taking some deep breaths and relaxing into the floor. <sighs> On each exhalation, surrendering into the earth, the earth's energy as your whole body is covered in that beautiful purple light, that violet light of the crown chakra. Relaxing into your natural breath, inhaling the energy from the earth up through your base of your spine, all along the spine, through each chakra point and out through the crown chakra as it fountains out a beautiful purple veil of light around your body. Tuning into your wisdom and enlightenment. Opening and balancing your crown chakra. Inhaling as if the lotus above your crown is inhaling the life force from the earth's energy up through your spine. And then exhale any scent or color or texture that may be generated. You may feel some color a fragrance, or you may even feel a presence. Allow your breath to be soft and rhythmic. 
letting go of any effort, just becoming receptive to the subtle energies that are emerging around you. Allow yourself to experience the beautiful merging energies. Being aware of any colors or lights you may be seeing through your third eye. Enjoying the beautiful relaxing energy. Starting to notice the sounds inside your room. And the sounds outside your room. Gently stretching out your arms and your legs. And rolling to one side, taking a few deep breaths. and coming up to a comfortable seated position. Let's close up our practice with three arms, one for the feminine energy, one for the masculine energy, and one for the union. You can join me if you wish, but you don't have to. Oh, oh, oh. Let's bring our hands to our forehead for kind thoughts and to our lips for kind words and to our heart for a kind heart. Namaste. Thank you for your beautiful practice today. A couple of little challenging poses. How's everyone feeling? Good. Good. 